Hi everyone, today we're going to show you how to remove the Moen cartridge from your bathtub. First thing you want to do is remove the handle and the, the plate that's uh, in front of it. And then there's a, a little clip right here. You'll see. We're going to want to go ahead and just pop that out. So it uh, should come out pretty easily. Uh, set that aside. Uh, before before you remove the cartridge here, which is what you can see, this is uh, that's the cartridge there. Um, you're going to want to turn off your water. Uh, if not, you're just gonna you're gonna get soaked. Um, so just go make sure you do that first, and then uh, we'll be able to to resume. So with these cartridges, if they've been in there for a while, they can be uh, tricky to get out. Um, so we went ahead and we got a, a cartridge removal tool from Lowe's. And um, what you'll do is you'll, there's these two prongs here on either side, and they'll just go on each side of the cartridge there. All right, so um, what we want to do for to start, you'll notice there's this screw that comes out of the bottom. You want to loosen that up a little bit. Um, you'll see down on this side, there's a screw in there that will connect uh, inside our cartridge. There's an opening for a screw there. So what you'll do is you'll loosen that up a little bit. So you can put the cartridge on. You'll see, again, you have these grooves here that will go on either side of the cartridge there. And then you can just tighten that screw on it. It will, it will go in the cartridge. So pull the Phillips here and tighten this guy on. Okay, so once that's on there, we can tighten this piece here. So what we did, we, we tightened our screw on there, so it, there's, there's threading on the in, inside of the cartridge, so the screws got in there and it's, it's caught the cartridge now. Um, then what you'll want to do is you'll want to tighten this, this is kind of what we're doing now, tighten this, uh, this nut here. There's a point, we're at a point where we can't really tighten it anymore. Um, so what this is going to do, it's going to uh, put pressure on it and, and it will, as you tighten it, it's going to kind of suck the cartridge out. So um, we, again, we couldn't turn anymore, so I went and grabbed some channel lock pliers. And we're just going to go ahead and, and keep getting this guy out. You'll want to hold this level so it's not twisting around. Because if it's twisting, it's really not tightening. Or, excuse me, it's not loosening the cartridge from, from inside there. So you just want to make sure that that stays level. So we've we've reached a point now where um, it's really it's not twisting anymore. I think it's kind of hit the end of the threading for the tool here. Um, so what I'm going to do is just try and pull it out now. I know that it's gotten a lot. Of, it's it's quite. If I look down, I can as I kind of take a look at it, you can see the cartridge is is definitely coming out right here. You can see. Um, so what I'll do now is just try and pull it out, and you'll see it's really slipping out now, and it comes out. A lot easier uh, and some I mean depending on how long they've been in there they might give you some more resistance but so uh, this is a much easier way of going about getting it out so now that we have the cartridge out something you want to do you make sure all, you want to make sure all the rings are on there and, and there's nothing stuck uh, inside yeah again I, I highly recommend getting this tool for this type of job it made it a lot easier on this job than other jobs I've done um, if this was helpful, please subscribe below, and if you have any comments or feedback, we'd love to hear it. Uh, again, subscribe to Big Eye Repairs.